this, but now that Paimon thinks about it, no one really fits the bill. Paimon thinks Alhatham might know something, but Paimon doesn't want to talk to him. Oh, why don't we just ask around? Maybe we'll run into someone from Watawahist. Looks like you two are in the pickle. Why not consult someone who always tells you everything she knows? <gasps> Nahida! Oh, why are you here? I'm here to meet with some researchers, but when I saw you two looking so troubled, I decided to follow. Looks like I showed up just in time. Okay, we might as well tell you. We have a friend who's come to Sumeru. Hmm, I see. Uh, your face says that it's gonna be a long time before the next meteor shower. Um, my answer is going to be even more of a disappointment. You may have heard that the stars are related to people's fates. Yeah, lots of times. If the stars dictate destiny, then do you think that destiny is something that is unchanging and always follows predicted outcomes? Have a point. According to current Ritalahist research, a meteor shower is a celestial phenomenon that occurs due to the interference between many intricate fates. Their appearance is highly random. Some have tried coming up with ways to predict their occurrence, but the results are less than reliable. This is a far cry from folk tales that claim meteor showers come at certain times and bless all who witness them. So you mean we won't be able to see one? I'm sorry to disappoint you two. If we tell this to Yoimiya, she'll be so disappointed. What now? There has to be something we can do. Are you two okay? It seems the news hit harder than I expected. Paimon just thinks this isn't fair to Yoimiya. I get it. From how you described her, I can see that she is a kind and caring soul. So, why don't we take a page out of her book and protect her dreams with a well-intentioned lie? Oh? How do we do that? It'll be a story about a meteor shower. Oh, well, I can't summon a real meteor shower. But if it's in a dream, I can help out. Oh, that would be great, Nahida! Compared to what you've done for me, this is nothing. Use the meteor shower as a pretext to take you and me all around Sumeru. Then, when you're ready, blow this. <laughs> I'll tell the Arunara in advance. Once they hear the whole story, I'm sure they'll be willing to help. Huh. Then the dream will probably be like the one we had in the Avidia Forest, when we first met Hapasia. That was a real shocker. It was hard to tell that we were even in a dream. Once the meteor shower ends and you all awaken from the dream, she'll probably realize what had happened. If you tell her the truth at that point, she should be a lot less disappointed. Mm-hmm. Paimon thinks this is the best way to simulate the meteor shower. Thanks, Nahida. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. Still, you two should get this story straight before you join up with your friend. If not, she's gonna see right through everything. True. Let's discuss it on the way. So what we need to do is to make you and me believe that the meteor shower is really happening and be super convincing at how we sell it. Hmm. If Paimon wanted to go see a meteor shower, the things Paimon would focus on the most would be... Yes, exactly! We'll say we're trying to figure these two things out, but we'll actually be bringing you and me around to see the sights and enjoy local food! Oh... Well, easier said than done. We can't be too strict with our pretext, but we can't be sloppy with it either, or she'll see through it. 
<sighs> It'd be best if we could take a unique approach to making it fantastical, just like a real fairy tale. Hmm, this is gonna be hard. Oh, that's right. Um, don't people also talk about wishing on a shooting star? If we used wishes as the center of our story... Whoa, that sounds great! All right then, we need a specific wishing spot or else the sky would be full of meteor showers. And then, while we're supposedly finding or making this device, we'll go around and have fun and eat good food! <laughs> this is shaping up to be the perfect plot! After all, the device can be anything, and the location can be wherever. As long as we get you and Mia to enter the dream at night, things will be fine. This isn't about being smart, it's about being a good duo. The idea was yours anyway. Paimon just knows what you want to say. <sighs> alright, alright, let's go. Yoimiya's probably sick of waiting for us. <laughs> 